Yo, ladies, what do you bring to the table? Well, let's see. I'm smart, I'm successful, and I'm a homeowner. I went from retiree to being a business owner. I have good credit and decent looks. I have no baggage, no emotional damage, and no arrest record. I spent a lot of time working on myself, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Baby, I built my own damn table, and I know it's solid. So my question to you is, what can you bring to my table? I don't know what's her point of making this list or response, but for me, this is the worst response I've ever heard because this is not how you attract or please men, rather. Men doesn't really care about a women's wealth, how many houses you own, how many businesses you have, like how much money do you make. Men doesn't really care about those things. If there's any man that watching this video, please correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. In my opinion, most men prefer to be with a kind, loving, caring, respectful, agreeable, easy to live with women that is working in a McDonald's than being with a CEO strong independent woman that is very measurable to be with and the lady in this video she doesn't seems like she needs a man in her life to me she have everything I mean if she can provide she have her own table why make this video you're just wasting your time because you're not gonna attract any men and I'm telling you right now having all those things doesn't make you a high-value woman so I suggest you to just uh, buy a dog and uh, leave your life alone and I can guarantee you that sooner or later you will regret it and you will realize that life is measurable without having someone that really true cares about you. And it's sad because these feminist or strong independent women, they don't realize it until it's too late. And she is trying to poison and influence a lot of women's mind online. And I also checked her comment section from her videos and it makes me realize how easy to manipulate some women in western country. And most of this feminist or strong independent women they think that we are the one that are easy to manipulate and easy to control by our men now i understand why they say that because they don't know how to be a woman they probably hate being a woman because they don't want to be feminine they don't want to be gentle to their partner because they want to be the one that is strong and want to control men because they have too much ego anyways let's go back to her response if that's all you can offer that's all you can um, bring to the table like you have money you are financially stable and that's all you can offer in a relationship and if you are a woman that's not what men expect a woman to bring to the table or to offer in a relationship if that's what you want to do in a relationship then what's your husband's job what do you expect your husband to do in a relationship do you expect your husband to stay at home and get pregnant and take care of the family it's crazy how some western women think and another thing is they're making all these videos hating men and a lot of women would actually believe it and it would ruin their life because they would lost the opportunity to make a family and have a happy life and find a good man because they started believing all these feminist and strong independent women online and probably start making videos as well about hating men and that's going to be a disaster and sad to say it's already happening in a western country i just hope that the younger generation will wake up because these old ladies that making these hating videos about men they don't really care about the younger generation the only reason why they make these videos because they want every woman to be one of them and this lady she probably feel like she have no choice except making hating videos about men online because she's not willing to change or she doesn't want to be a woman she doesn't want to be a wife she doesn't want to submit to her husband but anyways that's her decision or that's the choices that she made i just hope that she won't be making videos like this one on TikTok sooner or later. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of trying to find love for him. I mean, damn. I'm may mean, not be pretty to somebody, but goddamn, I'm pretty to me. I'm so tired.
of being alone. I'm tired of this bull. I don't understand why the am still living. I just want to be somebody girlfriend, somebody wife, somebody something. I deserve to fucking be happy too. Why the fuck I be happy? I'm tired. Darling, do you know why you're single? It's because you don't like to be told what to do. Women are single because the single life is more appealing. See, the regrets are always at the end. So please, ladies, be wise with your decision in life. And, you know, I kind of understand why some men have to ask you this kind of question. What can you bring to the table? Because some of you don't have clue how to be a woman or what's the rule of being a wife. That's why some of you will get offended when men ask you this kind of question. You know, here in Asia, we don't normally ask by guys what can we bring to the table. Because they know exactly that we know what's our duty or rule as a wife. If ever someone will ask me a question, what can I bring? bring to the table or what do I bring to the table I would say it's the same thing what my mom bring to my dad's table and the first thing is a family she turned the house into our home and before my dad comes home from work my mom always makes sure that she has food to put on my dad's table and when my dad is uh, down or feeling depressed or suffering from mental health my mom always makes sure that she's there for my dad next emotional support my mom would always want to make sure that she makes my dad feel loved and cared even if we have like 10 siblings she always makes sure that she gives my dad the time and the attention i don't think we would be 10 siblings if my mom don't give enough time for my dad anyways <laughs> or maybe she give too much <laughs> that's why we're 10 siblings i think that's too much and also she makes my dad's life easier i remember growing up we don't have much my dad is just a farmer he doesn't makes enough money so what my mom did is she will also work to help my dad to support the big family and take care of us at the same time no doubt my mom is a strong woman but she will always depend on my dad she never make my dad feel like she doesn't need him and another important thing that the men need from their wife is the respect, understanding, loyalty, the unconditional love. And for you to submit to your husband is very important for them. Let him lead the family or the household. I know not every woman would agree with me. Some women would probably say, oh, that's too much. That sounds like slavery for me. Yes, I know it takes so much effort to be a wife, to be a mother. But you know the love, the joy that your children gives you and the happiness that your partners gives you knowing that you have someone that would truly cares and loves you. Please ladies, while you're young, find a good man and live your happy life.